Malcolm Joe. He, um, he's, well, I don't know how to put it really. He's, he's basically been assaulted and, and robbed. He went for a, a two or three day trip last week. And unfortunately, he's been in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's, um, he's, no, it's fair to say it will late, but he's had a, I could say like a, I won't say a man bag, but you know, like a, um, a sort of bum bag uh, hanging off him. And he's had a, uh, he's been assaulted, he's been whacked around the head or in the face with a, with an object. He's not sure whether it were a, a bat or um, an iron bar. Um, which has which has knocked him down. They've, they've whipped his um, his bag. What's got his phone, his sunglasses, his wallet inside of it, um, and taken off. So you know he's sort of in quite a day state. He's got up the next morning. His jaw's been sore, so he's gone to hospital. Got it X-rayed, and they've broken it. So he has reported it. He's reported it obviously as a you know as a mugging and as a, an assault and a robbery. Um, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure he's holding much help out for for too much to come back from it. But yeah, it's it's a it's a real ball for us because you know, he's uh, he's been you know, probably our most consistent player. He's our toughest player, that's for sure. Why did this happen? It's Spain. He went to Spain for three days last week, and it happened on the first day we were there. So he flew home. He literally flew home the day after it happened uh, to see our medical people. Um, so he, he's, as I say, he has reported it. You know, he did spend, I think, he spent half a day in the police station. But I would say we're fairly pessimistic uh, about the chances of, you know, bringing anybody, bringing anybody to justice for it. And uh, yeah, so he's, he's got home and got into to our medical people, and, and they've taken care of him, and, and he's had an operation. Uh, to have a plate in his jaw. It must have been a brave person to do that to him, I tell you. <laughs> or, or a dark alley, put it that way. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with it. So he, he's shaken up, you know, he, he's, he's really shaken up. Um, and, you know, he's put, a, he's put a real sort of downer, um, downer on, on the start of our week, to be honest. When you say he had an X-ray, was that whilst he was still over there? He had one over there the morning after. Yeah, he said he went for his his breakfast and couldn't couldn't eat properly, so he, you know, went to the hospital, got his X-ray, and, and then pretty much went straight to the police station, reported it, and then you know once he'd done that, arranged himself, you know, we got in touch with his medics and his insurance people and all that sort of thing, and, and arranged him a flight home to get him seen to as soon as we could. So what, what day did that happen then? Which you yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It would have been would have been Thursday, Stroud Friday, I think. Was he on his own? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's sort of probably I mean I guess there's not much good to come out of it apart from, you know, we don't expect to get him back before the end of the season. Um, you know, he might get, you know, it's a six to eight week injury and we're hoping that you know, we're certainly hoping to get him back for the last couple of games. So we, in the meantime we've um, we've pulled Andy Ellis back um, from Featherston from his um, from his long period at Featherston. And we've also got two young guys out on Joel Reggie at the moment, Matty Wildey and, and Jimmy Davy, but we we'll, you know, we'll pull Andy back from Featherston to play this weekend and he's uh, you know, he's obviously had to to be very, he's had a long wait to get his chance and, and be very, very patient, but that's probably an indication of, of the form that Paul has, you know, form that Paul has had during the season.